hi there welcome to tonight's video tutorial we're going to consider how we can leverage microsoft fabric data pipeline to copy bulk csv files resident in google cloud storage account to sql server as a single consolidated table that we can use to perform queries let's get started currently i am in the console.cloud.google.com and of course, I've got the storage account and I can see under my bucket, the sales multiple files. I can double click on that and I'm going to see a folder called sales. So when I click on that again, I'm going to see the sales 2020 to 2023 in comma separated values. Now, we'll actually ingest all this individual table as a single table into our SQL Server Manage the studio. So in the SSMS, I can see the name of my server and then I can see the sales database. For now, I've got two tables employee records and transaction. So we'll create one more table, which is going to be the consolidation of all data from our Google Cloud storage account. Now I'm going to come back here and before I do anything in the data pipeline of Fabric, I'm going to come to the settings and then under the interoperability, I'm going to see my storage URL and I'm going to scroll down. We also need the access key and the secret key so you can always click on this to create one for yourself. So let's come back to the app.powerbi.com. So for now, I've got a blank workspace which is called load from GCP. So we can go on and add an item. So click on that and I want to add data pipeline. I'm going to call this one sales 101. You can give it a name, click create. In the build a data to organize and move your data, I can go on and specify a pipeline activity. So click on this pipeline activity and then I want to choose copy data. So I'm going to see this in the canvas. So I can give this a meaningful name under the general tab. Let's just call it data from GCP to SQL Server. And then I'm going to come to the source tab. In the source, now I can click on this drop down and let's click on more options. So for this, I'm going to search for the Google Cloud Storage and then I need the URL and the connection credential. For the URL, I'm going to come back here under the interoperability. I'm going to scroll up and I can copy this storage.googleapis.com. So copy that and I'm going to paste it. So for the connection, I want to show you how to do it anyway. So click on new connection. I can give this a meaningful name, but this is fine. Now, it is important to you have your data gateway installed in your laptop. So click on this and I want to choose my on-premises cornerstone solutions data gateway. And then we need the authentication kind. We need to provide the HMAC key, which include the access key and the secret key. Now for the access ID, access ID, I'm going to come here under the interoperability in my Google Cloud Storage. I'm going to scroll down and then this is my access key. So copy that and I'm going to paste here. For the secret, I'm going to go back and copy the secret and then I'm going to paste here. So I can go on and click on connect. So we can see we have the connection established, but let's just verify by clicking on this test connection connection successful okay so we can go on and specify the file path so of course this actually uses what's called bucket and then we have the directory and then the name of the file now because we want to ingest all of these files in my bucket in my under my uh, bucket so i want to ingest all of these sales 2020 to 2023 now i'm going to come back here and click on the browse so i'm going to choose the name of my bucket sales multiple files and then i can browse through the sales folder in it. I'm going to choose the sales folder and then I can see all the data for the 2020 to 2023. So there we go. So I can go on. Now. Of course, we don't want to just ingest one. So if you want to ingest one, just click on one. But we want to ingest all of them. So I'm going to go back here and do that again. So click on the sales and without selecting any of them, I can go and click OK. So we're going to have the file path the name of the bucket sales multiple files and then the name of the folder sales so that's beautiful of course this is not going to be a single file but all the files so i can go on and specify the file format so i'm going to scroll down here now this is not going to be binary form it's going to be a delimited text so i'm going to go and choose delimited text because our data is a csv file so this could be delimited text now i can go on to choose the destination 
for the destination we want to land this in our SSMS, the SQL Server Manager Studio. So let's go back. I can choose from this drop down more option. And I'm going to search for SQL Server. Now we have the SQL Server database. Click on that. So I need the name of my server, which is Abiola DB01. And then the name of the destination database. So this is going to be my sales database. And this is my server name. So I'm going to type in sales as the destination database. And then let me just show you everything else is going on. Click on the new connection. And then we can specify the data gateway. So this is going to be the same on-premises cornerstone solution gateway. And then we can go on and specify the authentication kind. For me, I'm going to use the basic and I'm going to provide my SA username, which is associated with my SQL server when I did installation. And then for my password, I'm going to type in password that is associated to that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose test connection. So I'm going to check the connection to my destination, which is my SQL server. And of course, this should give us a successful connection. Brilliant. So I can go and specify the name of my database, which is, of course, in this case, the sales. And then I'm going to just choose for the table option, auto create table. So this is going to be created automatically. And then I can provide a name for my schema. Let me just call this one DBO. And then for the table name, I'm just going to call it CGP for Google Cloud Platform. You can give any name you like. I'm going to click on validate and then we have no errors. Click close. So we can go on and run the pipeline. So save and run the pipeline. And then let's see the final solution. Okay, there we go. Succeeded, which is super cool. Now let's go ahead and check in the SSMS. So I can go on and disconnect and just quickly, you know, connect and then click on connect. So I can click on the databases and then click on the sales database and then click on the tables. So as soon as I click on that, I can see I've got the DBO schema GCP table, which is amazing. I can right click and then I can select top 1000 rows. Brilliant. So we have all the rows. Amazing. So we have the 2020 and then I can scroll down. When I scroll down, I'm going to see 2021. Can you see? And then when I scroll down, I'm going to see 2022. And then when I scroll down, I can see the 2023, which is super cool. So in this case, we've been able to append or consolidate all the individual files from the Google Cloud Storage account to our SQL Server Manager Studio for analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, comment, and make sure you click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.